Is Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio's dad, Mark D'Amelio, a Trump supporter? Here is everything we know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Gina Rosenberg, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Charlie and Dixie's dad, Mark D'Amelio, has been under fire recently with rumors that he supports President Trump. This is not the first time we've seen such allegations, but this is the first time that Papa D'Amelio is addressing such allegations. Recently, tweets Mark D'Amelio liked had resurfaced. These tweets date back from May of 2019 to July of 2018. These liked tweets include one from January of 2019 about our newly elected vice president that says, Kamala Harris is literally the most annoying 2020 candidate. This is the hill I choose to die on. As well as a conversation where one person tweeted, PSA, white people don't get to decide what's racist. And someone responded, neither do you, racist. As well as tweets making fun of AOC and tweets by Trump. So it's one thing, like, I'm cool if you support tweets, like, for the party you're supporting, mm -hmm. but these are problematic tweets. They're problematic tweets, and also to clarify the whole, like, neither do you racist, it was a person of yeah. color tweeting and a white person from Connecticut, yeah. literally Connecticut, because their where handle you just was Connecticut. Like, you it's know? just, it's, yeah, it's, and, and I will also say, I think it's important to note that these tweets only date back to, to, to January of 2019. The D'Amelios really didn't come into fame until, right. I want to say, like, the summer of 2019. Yes. So I think that perhaps this is who Mark D'Amelio was and what he believed in at mm -hmm. one point. I think he and Heidi and the whole D'Amelio family has really had to, like, be more aware of what they do publicly. Yeah. Um, and this is another thing, too, is, like, you know, should celebrities be telling us who they support and who they don't support. Right. That's like a big uh, thing because I mean we're seeing right now with Biden winning the presidency that a lot of celebrities who never supported him are now giving him support. It's just right. like it's very confusing. Yeah. I think there's a line. So after these tweets surfaced, Mark D'Amelio took to Twitter to write, Joe Biden is my president. He is our president. We must all unite. Congratulations at Joe Biden with a American flag emoji. Someone then co commented under his tweet saying, quote, I thought you were a Trumpy, thank God. And Mark replied to this follower by saying, I am an American with an American flag emoji. Fans commented on this TikTok insider post saying, quote, we want a Charlie X Trump collab. And also calling Mark out saying that doesn't answer the question. Mark. So, I mean, I think what he's saying is kind of the way to deal with all this. Um, right. And he is quoting Joe Biden, and you know, we are a very divided country right now, and that is probably a big root of all of our problems. Right. And if we learn to unite, I think, and be the United States, we'll be yes. in a better place. And be respectful of each other, mm -hmm. I think is such a big thing too, you know? Um, and I think he handled this really respectfully, which I was like, you know what? I don't know how else you could have handled this. Uh, I also thought his statement was really great, which we're gonna get into. Yes. Uh, so Mark then made an official statement commenting on the resurfaced tweets that he liked as he explained that everyone knows that I am a Republican and I ran for office to help my community. He went on to explain that he never held a political office and he does not have any plans to ever run for office again. Obviously, now you're TikTok famous. Uh, Mark also clarified that he has never supported Trump and that he has often voted for and supported Democratic candidates. He went on to say that he has supported his good friend and Democratic candidate Darnell Crossland, who is an African-American Democrat and former president of the NAACP, who ran for mayor of his hometown of Norwalk, Connecticut. Yeah, I mean, I think like, look, he, he made a good point. You can be a Republican and not support Trump. You can be yeah. a Democrat and not support Biden, yeah. you know, or whatever it may be. Uh, so I think this statement was good for a lot of people to hear. And I, again, I applaud him for the way that he handled it. Same. Also, he could run for office even if he has a TikTok. Yeah. That could yeah, happen sorry. down the line, guys. <laughs> because uh, like Trump was our president. Yeah, and he was, was like a reality, reality star. star it, could, so. it doesn't always work out, but sometimes it can. Right. Uh, so Mark went on to explain that he always votes for the person and not the party, and that he does indeed support Joe Biden as he hopes that, quote, he becomes the greatest president that we ever had, end quote. Mark also added, quote, I suggest you do your research when choosing who you vote for and help educate others while not condemning them for their beliefs. The device, dividedness in our country will continue if everyone cannot come together. Listen to what Joe Biden said last night. We are not Republicans or Democrats. We are all Americans. That was in reference to his tweet earlier, and that does make a ton of sense. And I do think those are great words to yeah. live by. Definitely, and, and I mean, it, this comes in like perfect timing. You know, I love that he said, Joe Biden is my president. It's like an acceptance thing. Like Joe Biden just won the presidency. Like let's celebrate it, let's be mm -hmm. happy. 
Um, and I also hope he's the greatest president. I love that he said that. Like, everyone should feel this way, you know? We should be encouraging um, our president-elect, so. And also, yes. it's so important to vote not just in presidential elections, but every single election. Yes. So if maybe you were just about to turn 18 this next year, definitely make sure you register for the next election because things come up about your state, about our government that yeah. are like really important and you should get your voice heard. Absolutely. Well, guys, what do you think about Mark D'Amelio's statement and resurface like tweets? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Gina Rosenberg. And follow us here at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.